Portland's 2017 real estate market was a lively one. Eager buyers competed for the best deals, while prices rose all around the city. So who are all the winners of this activity? And what does it mean for the 2018 real estate market in Portland? Let's explore that question in this short video. I'm Alex Roy, trusted realtor and local expert in Eastside Portland. With 2017 in the books, we found there were two main takeaways. Number one, inventory was tight. For the second year in a row, the number of homes sold in Portland declined. And this wasn't because there were a whole bunch of homes out there and buyers just didn't want to buy them. Rather, homeowners were hanging onto their homes, not putting them on the market to sell. In the end, active buyers competed heavily for the inventory that was on the market. And this in turn benefited sellers who were able to put up their homes for sale. The second big takeaway is that home values continue to rise. And a lot of this can be attributed to simple supply and demand. All areas around Portland saw home values appreciate this past year as they have for almost the last five years. So what does this mean for 2018? Well, if you're a buyer, the road ahead may be tough. To get that great house at a great price, what you need to do is first of all be pre-approved by your lender before you start shopping. And then work closely with your realtor to identify that great house as soon as it comes on the market and to write a really strong offer and get it in there before any other interested parties can beat you to it. But in terms of financing, it's not all bad news. Money is still really cheap to borrow. Interest rates for mortgages are still sitting around in the low fours and the National Association of Realtors estimates that they're only going to average out at about the mid fours through 2018. On the other side of the coin, sellers can expect to continue to do well this year. Low inventory helps lessen the competition and helps support a strong sales price. And with the jobs market doing great, interest rates remaining low and new build homes slow to come on the market, sellers can expect homes to continue to sell fast, especially if they're under 400000 But this forecast isn't going to hold true forever. Right now, there's home sellers out there thinking of keeping their house off the market for just a few more years to allow the house's value to rise with the average market appreciation. But with home values appreciating at a slower and slower rate every year, the time to sell at peak appreciation may be nearing. If at some point in the next two years, the job market drops off, interest rates surge, and or a whole glut of new homes come onto the market, all those gains made in appreciation may be wiped out. This has been a broad overview of the real estate market in Portland and its surrounding area. So if you want more detailed information about your neighborhood's market or wish to discuss the value of your home, call or email me today. I love helping clients get the information they need to make an informed, wise decision. I'm Alex Roy, local expert in Eastside Portland, working hard for your success.